Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we are here in Las Vegas for CES 2016, the Consumer Electronics Show. We've got some news out already. The show hasn't officially begun and won't until Wednesday, but a lot of meetings are still going on today, tomorrow, all the way through the week. All of our CES 2016 coverage is brought to you by IY Power's Revolt 2 small form factor gaming PC. So a couple of major news items for today already would be AMD's Polaris, which is the next generation GPU architecture for AMD's video cards. That will be effectively stepping over Fiji. That's already out now on the Fury X and Fury Nano Fury devices. So Polaris has a new iteration of the GCN architecture or graphics core next. That will be the fourth generation now. In addition to this, it's increasing or improving its geometry processor, improving a couple of the other processors, coprocessors on the GPU architecture and L2 cache is being increased. We don't have specifics or numbers on any of these just yet, but hope to have them when our AMD rolls around, which I think is on Wednesday or Thursday, so check back for that content. Other news today includes an MLG acquisition. So MLG, Major League Gaming, was bought by Activision and that was a $46 million acquisition. Most of the money is going towards paying off the debts incurred by MLG during its operating lifetime. And the business will actually be shuttered going forward. So MLG is effectively no more, and Activision may be turning it into some sort of new esports endeavor. Further news from the virtual reality department, Oculus Rift pre-orders will be opening on Wednesday. No price is yet announced, but there will be one on Wednesday, certainly, so check back for that. And this is just the pre-orders for the Rift. The Oculus Touch handheld device, the controller, is still delayed. So that is delayed until sometime second half 2016. And we've already covered that in, in the uh, channel if you click the link in the description below. The last major news item for today is Corsair's Spec Alpha case. This is the next case in their Spec line. So there's the Spec 01, Spec 02, some of those cases. They're big in Asia. In the US, they were rebranded as the 100 series. So the 100R was the main one. And that is very similar to Silverstone's PS11B, which it's actually the same chassis, just slightly different exterior. So that has been revived in the Spec Alpha, which uses three fans, all 120 millimeters, two 120 millimeters in the front doing intake, and there are no optical drive cages, so no obstruction there. Corsair calls this direct flow something or other, some marketing term that, frankly, all it means is that the air goes straight in the front and out the back. It's not special, but it's using two intake fans, one exhaust fan, and then they've got a side window, which they call a panoramic window. Another marketing term I wasn't too happy with because it's just a square window, so by definition, not panoramic and a bit overdone in the marketing because it's just a side window. But that is the Spec Alpha. There's some photos going through now. Articles already on the site if you want to read more about it. And we will have video and in-person coverage of Corsair's booth in a couple of days. So check back for that. That is all for this quick recap of the news for CES 2016 pre-show. And as always, subscribe to the channel if you like it. Hit the Patreon link in the post-roll video. And I'll see you all next time.